Good morning and thank you for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Weather Report brought to you by 45 North. Make sure to stop into the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel uh, for them as well as stop into WSKITV.com for more information about this weather report. And your weather forecast for today, we have summit temperatures 24 to 28 degrees and up at the summit uh, down at the base area we have 35 to 39 uh, northwesterly winds 10 to 18 miles per hour up top, and base winds should be northeasterly uh, 10 to 16 miles per hour. Partly sunny skies, it should be for a nice mellow day out there. Tomorrow we have uh, a different day than today. We have a little bit of a uh, chance of snow with a p.m. mix uh, of rain-based precipitation. With some attempts reaching uh, just above 30 degrees and base temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. Uh, east northeasterly winds 30 to 50 miles per hour up at the summit uh, may cause some lift issues. And down at the base, uh, easterly winds 10 to 18. Into the extended forecast on Saturday, highs around 36. Uh, we may have uh, mostly cloudy skies and flurries are scheduled, uh, as well as on Sunday, partly sunny skies, um, but we may have some clouds as well, turning into mostly cloudy afternoon, uh, highs around 33. On Monday, we're going to have mostly sunny skies once again and the beginning of next week. Your trail report for today, uh, Thursday, March 1st, brought to you by Birchwood Interiors. If 78 trails available out there and 52 were groomed last night, packed powder and hard pack conditions will be found on the trails. And we got one inch of new snow overnight after that uh, little bit of precip we had throughout the day. Your grooming schedule uh, looked like Timberline Bridle Chain as well as Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, and uh, Comp Hill, Spillway, Sluice, White Nitro, Wedge, Gandhi Line, Narrow Gauge, uh, Candyside, Boardwalk, Landing, The Birches, and Snowbrook. Over to the east side, Hallback, Flume, and Widowmaker got corduroy ripped down them. We also got uh, rammed down two hall Whiffle Tree and Slasher. Scoot and Windrow also got hit last night, as well as the terrain parks, Haywire, Skybound, and Stomping Grounds. And just a reminder, Sidewinder will be closed for the course building. Your lifts uh, are scheduled at 8.30 this morning. We have Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway as normal. And we also have Double Runner East at 8.30 this morning. Uh, that brings you to the middle parts of the mountain and that beginner terrain like Boardwalk and Lower Winter's Way. Also, uh, at 8.30, we have Super Quad and Skyline, and Timberline should join the crew at 9 a.m. this morning, and we should have some beautiful views from the summit. And over to the east side, we have, uh, at 9 o'clock, King Pine and Whiffle Tree lifts uh, are scheduled as well. We should not have any trouble with lift today based on the wind forecast. Down to the outdoor center, we currently have 70 kilometers of cross-country skiing and 20 kilometers of snowshoeing. The skating rink is currently closed uh, for the foreseeable future, as well as fat biking due to soft conditions. Also, having to do with fat biking, over to the narrow gauge pathway, temperatures have been above freezing most of the week, leading to soft and slow conditions, so please be mindful of your tread, especially on snowy loops, grassy loops, and others. Down to the chapel on Saturday, March 3rd from uh, 6 to 8 p.m. They're going to be making cookies uh, as well as a potluck dinner. So make sure you go down there and bring your smile. Up to Flagstaff Rentals if you want to get a snowmobile for some guided tours as well as reservations. Make sure you uh, give them a call at 246-4276 right there in Stratton. If you're looking to warm up or get a nice little jolt in the morning, make sure to stop into Java Joe's Coffee right there in Sugarloaf Village for a bagel and other snacks. As always, we are WSKI Channel 17. You can check us out at WSKITV.com for our quad cam as well as time-lapse photography and information about local businesses and past interviews on the live show. Make sure you know before you go.